Okay, everybody. Good morning. This is Organic Damon. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Tuesday, November. I don't know. 26, I believe. Yep, it's the 26 today. And uh, yeah. So I just started up the combine here, and I'm gonna do my calf chores, calf chores and stuff here. Um, we're gonna try to combine as much corn as we can. My cousin, he just came over here and he's gonna get some corn out of the bin um i shut the burner off last night the fan is still running i need to shut that off yet but yeah so it's supposed to snow today just the light stuff here further south here um they're supposed to get more so but they're obviously forecasting more crappy weather as the week goes on so so we're just gonna like i said last night we're just gonna combine fill up all the gravity boxes for now we got to see about getting that grain cleaner yet but so yeah it's gonna be kind of crazy my brother I'm actually gonna go out and combine like just start combining fill up all the gravity boxes and then we're just gonna quit and just leave it for now or just quit until we fill up all the gravity boxes and it's gonna take my cousin a little while to get that corn out of the bin so We'll just see how things go today here and see what all we can get done. And it looks like Sylvester's all antsy pantsy this morning. He heard the combine start up. I think he wants to go ride in the combine. He thinks he does. And little Panda Pops was. Hey there, Panda Pops! Hey! How you doing this morning? Ooh, kind of playful. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep going here with stuff and uh, see what uh, what all goes down here today. Okay, I just need to uh, drive this combine around the back so that way I can get it out to the field where I gotta go combine. Yeah, um, obviously you saw we've got my cousin he's getting his corn out of the bin but it's not exactly coming out of there easy. Yeah I don't know that corn was a little bit a little bit on the you know wet side it was like you know the high 20s low 30s for moisture biggest problem was that all those fines in the, um, the bin or in the corn and I don't know too that's that's like that's like kind of a food grade variety corn and I don't know if it's something to do with that too that affected how it dried it down you know it doesn't look like the kernels don't look obviously look like they're um, corn flakes or anything but it's just it's just that those fines in there got a little bit moldy and it makes the corn stick together it's kind of like a, those the fines are like a, a glue almost that bonds want to make the, the kernels kind of stick together in there and, you know, so i don't know there's gonna be some corn probably in the in the very very middle and probably it's gonna have to be thrown out i don't know maybe not i don't know there might have to be 100 bushels of corn that just gets thrown out but, I guess it is what it is and I know as we put our corn in the bin we're, we're just gonna put uh, we're gonna screen it put it in there but we'll see but anyways I'm gonna get this up to the field up there and then I have to move shuffle some gravity boxes around but I'm not gonna get it out in the field and I have to I have to get the tractor so I'm just gonna park it up there by the, the grain bags and the egg bags and stuff so that's that. There's some deer. Oh, here comes another. Oh, there's a buck. Is it a buck? Holy buckets. It is a buck, I think. Could be a four by four. I can't tell what it is. No, I don't think it's a buck. There's another one. It looks like it's a buck. Dang it. <laughs> And I don't have a hunting license. 
Nope, don't have one of those. So, dang it, can't shoot them. But if I would have had a gun and a hunting license, you never would have saw those deer. We never would have saw them like that. Just never would have happened. That's how it goes. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'll have to walk a little further. I just decided to bring it out here to the field, so I guess I'll have to walk back and get the uh, the tractor and the gravity. I'm gonna or the big gravity box. I'm gonna park that halfway down the field because we cannot um, fill it hop or full because when the corn gets above the bubble auger, you know, being it just starts making. And it starts making more fines in there so when it gets up to that point we're just going to dump every time that's what we have to do i hate it that it has to be that way but let me say next year it's not going to be a problem because we're getting 88 day corn to come by next year papers i don't know <laughs> it's just frustrating Okay, got the gravity box parked here. So I'm gonna go start combining. I think I'm just gonna combine this strip first and then dump it and then finish that strip. And then I got that strip over there. And then, then this field will be all done. Yeah, one of the things I'm kind of disappointed about on this field is because since there's a lot of down corn in here, and you'll see this in a little bit here. I could find it. There's been ears of I noticed there's been a lot, lot of ears of corn on the ground. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I can't find that ear. Oh here it is. Yeah. I've been finding here's another one too. But you've been finding ears of corn like this on the ground. Yeah, and here's another one here there. It's just because the corn there's nothing you can do about it it just some of this corn got knocked down some of this was caught by the sock chopper when you got corn laying down on the ground like that sometimes you can't you can't pick it up or it breaks off so that's one of the things about 2019 that i don't like Finally got down with that field. It was a real pain in the rear. But I got done with it. Man. Oops, I gotta pull the head here. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Stay even there. 
Just <laughs> filling up there in one spot. Oh. Yeah. Man, that field was nasty. Sometimes you get the head unplugged, you go five feet and plug up again. Shame any crickets, I tell you. I'm just glad that field's done. So. Yeah, you can't get all the ears. Unfortunately, you just can't get them all. Just the way it is. Well, I wondered why this auger sometimes would stop for no reason and it shouldn't have, but this is probably why somehow that must have caught that. Um, is that just two bolts? I might just have to take this thing off just leave it off and uh, get another one <laughs> anyway I need to uh, walk down there get that gravity box bring it up to the yard and get that other one over there and bring that one out to the field and go get that one down the way down there bring that one up to that field up there so this that nasty field is done it's done Feeding chores, or some of the feeding chores yet, anyway. So, 
Yep. And my brother will have to help. He's gonna probably well, he'll have to work at putting these away here pretty soon. Okay. <clears throat> There, got this thing backed in. As far as I can get it backed in. So, now, now that this thing is backed in, I gotta go work at the feeding chores so we can, I'm gonna back all the gravity boxes, the machine shed. I'm gonna take the TT210 and back that in here. Throw the things in here too for the night. It's just, actually it's just snowing out just a tiny little bit. So, better keep on a moving. Now my brother is hauling a little bit of manure here. That's one of the other things that he's been doing here today. Get some out. you guys melt tonight. If you're watching this part of the video that means we're at the end of the video so um, I just got done uh, feeding the milk cows we're gonna let them outside yet tonight and my, I gotta get back to the barn my brother's milking why I went out and fed that but uh, anyways uh, yeah we got all of the the low gravity boxes filled up we decided to fill this one up because, um, well, we decided to fill it up and get it. F Anyways, it was my brother actually combined and filled this one up while I was working at the feeding. But so all the gravity boxes that we have are all filled up. We have five gravity boxes and they're all filled up. So I don't know how many bushels there are, how many wet bushels. So, anyways, we're gonna, <clears throat> when my cousin gets all his corn out of our bin then we're gonna stick that in there we probably I don't know if we're gonna dry it down yet this get this fall or not we're probably just gonna freeze it in there and dry it down in the spring when propane is cheaper in the spring and stuff so that's at least the plan right now so anyways I gotta get going here so thanks guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, we'll see what happens tomorrow hopefully we get some more corn out of my cousin or my more of my cousin's corn out of our bin i don't know it's just i'm not even going to get into the whole deal but <clears throat> anyways we'll get it out of there eventually hopefully we get it out of there before the weekend because they're talking some heavy snow on saturday so we want to get all of our corn combine get it in the bin and that rotary screener thing 
um, they got it. It's ready to go. They had to put it together. And so tomorrow my brother's going to go up and get it. So like I say, as soon as we get my cousin's corn out of the bin, we can get this in there, finish combining our corn, and then we're done with harvest if we get that done. So anyway, guys, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And have a good night. Take care. And I'll catch you later.